this has definitely been one of the best, if not the best way that I have been able to maintain my weight. <laughs> Welcome back to Best Buddy by Brie. My name is Brie Ann, and thank you for joining me on another video. I am on a mission to inspire individuals to achieve their best bodies through nutritious and delicious Guinean food. So I did a poll on my Instagram and a lot of people really want to know about how I eat carbs and still have abs. And this is the topic, as silly as it sounds, that like sparks a lot of interest because a lot of people feel like it's impossible to lose belly fat or achieve your weight loss or healthy lifestyle goals while eating carbs and I remember even when I first um, started like eating a healthier lifestyle a lot of my friends were like do you still eat rice and I'm like yeah I still eat rice so there just basically a lot of misconceptions regarding whether you can eat rice and carbohydrates and still achieve a flat belly or burn belly fat or just reduce weight in general. I definitely once thought this, I am someone who has tried like the Atkins, I have tried very low carb diets and what has worked for me in terms of me like getting abs and achieving a slimmer waist is me just having a balanced lifestyle incorporating carbohydrates whether starchy carbohydrates or vegetables fruit protein fats into my diet you don't have to restrict yourself or cut out carbs completely in order to achieve your goals obviously some people are different if you do have an adverse reaction or a very very bad reaction to carbohydrates obviously reduce the quantity or get help from your dietitian or your GP or your medical professional and they will advise you accordingly but I just want to clear up this myth and show you just how I still eat foods like jollof on an almost day-to-day -day basis and still maintain my abs and avoid gaining belly fat. And I still eat white rice which a lot of people may be shocked about but I still do eat white rice because I just don't like brown rice to be very honest like it's nice depending on the type um, if it's soft enough but most brown rice brands are like a bit difficult to like chew. Stay tuned until the very end of the video because I'm going to show you a recipe demonstration but my secret is drum roll please Portion control, and I know a lot of people may or may not be surprised to hear this, but portion control and in, in intuitive eating is on, are honestly how I basically maintain my weight, avoid weight gain, achieve my goals all the time. Portion control is so key. I never cut out any food group completely. I never have to, and so I can still enjoy all the foods that I love while still achieving my goals, which is like the best thing ever. And the truth is, for my Ghanaians, some of y'all are just eating way too much. When I see some of the portions that people eat, I'm just like, guys, guys, it's too much. And I hate to break it to you, but eating a full plate of rice is actually not normal. But however, it has been normalized and honestly, People in Ghana mock me for eating my small portion of jollof, which I'll show you in the end. But at the end of the day, I'm still able to achieve my goals, maintain my energy, avoid feeling sluggish, and still enjoy the flavor of jollof or the carbohydrate without feeling like I'm restricting myself or punishing myself. After all, this is a lifestyle. I am not on a permanent diet. I have found ways to make my diet and my nutrition work for me, as, and not just to gain the nutritional benefits, but also just to enjoy food, because I love food. Food a lot it's like I genuinely love food so much and that's why I grew so healthy and strong mm -hmm. but I mean I totally guess like rice is delicious carbs are delicious so of course you're gonna eat like a big portion and especially like when it comes to like Ghana jollof hey shout out my Ghanaian our jollof is like honestly just so good but the truth is you do not have to consume as much as you do and especially when it comes to on a day-to-day, -day, you don't have to consume large portions on a day-to-day. -day. Like imagine the excess accumulation of calories that you're consuming just because your portions every single day are just way too big for what you need. So first of all, why is it important to watch your waistline? Watching your waistline isn't only for aesthetic reasons, it's not just superficial. Studies show that an accumulated amount of fat around your belly, not just the outer layer, but also within your organs, having a larger waistline actually places you at greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes, some cancers, and heart disease, and just a whole lot of negative stuff that you really don't want in your life now or in the future. So please, let's take the preventative measures now before it's too late. And I mean, aesthetics are also important. Let's not lie. Let me not lie and just 
tell you that I don't feel good when my stomach is flat, flat. Like when my stomach is bloated and big and I can actually visibly feel some fat gain, it's very, very uncomfortable and it's not nice when your clothes don't, when my clothes don't fit as well. Like having a flat belly, it's superficial in this day and age. However, like for me personally, like it's just comfortable. It's just like, like physically comfortable, I'm not even joking. When I do have excess fat on my belly area, it does. I do feel a difference and it's just like a physical like discomfort. So now there are two dimensions to having a flat belly or a slim waist. So there is belly fat and then there is bloating. Now a lot of people actually think that they have um, maybe not so flat bellies or not so slim waistlines because they have a lot of fat accumulated but the truth is some of you are actually perpetually bloated like are you consuming foods that are on a day-to-day -day basis that are causing your stomach to swell and this is something that I realized happens to me a lot sometimes I think that oh my gosh I've actually just gained a lot of fat around my belly my belly is just so big I need to exercise to burn the fat off and then this might be TMI but I have an episode where like I clear my system if you know what I mean and then my stomach just goes back to being flat and going and it basically bounces back to where it was and all because I basically consumed a lot of food or the wrong foods that clog my digestion cause my body to digest up foods a lot more slower and therefore bloat me around the stomach area and even in my cheeks sometimes. So it's important to clarify between bloating and belly fat. Now belly fat is actual fat accumulated around your belly. A lot of people gain belly fat due to an increased amount of sh an excess amount of sugar in their diet. Excess amounts of any food in their diet can actually lead to an increase in belly fat. And I have a whole video on belly fats and the Ghanaian diet which is linked below. And if you haven't watched it already, you definitely need to watch that now. I share with you just how I maintain and achieve a flat belly like on a Ghanaian diet. Loads of tricks and important tips for you there. So basically ensuring that I control my portions allows me to not get bloated so often first of all but also allows me to control the amount of calories that I'm eating. And it's not just portions in the sense of how much totally but also I realize that the portions of different foods on your plate definitely matter. So when I eat for example a lot of protein so maybe boiled eggs or I eat chicken or fish those animal products I find that my belly actually does not bloat at all. Same with vegetables as well when I eat a lot of vegetables my belly does not bloat. Certain fruits do actually lead to some bloating and also when I do eat small portions of carbohydrates I don't bloat but obviously when you eat too many and too much you will 100% bloat and the excess will also be translated into fat and converted into fat at some later point in life. Here is exactly what I do to control my waistline. Now portions may vary from person to person but this is just what works for me so here you go. So I'm starting off with the vegetables and I know in Ghana vegetables especially fresh vegetables tends to be like with garnish but over here I make it a huge part of my diet so I fill up half of my plates of veggies most of the time just to make sure I'm getting in those nutrients. The vegetables also help in my digestion and I also season my vegetables like I season my meat because if I'm going to eat so much then I 100% have to like season it up because I love flavor. Now I'm adding some jalops. I, I always make sure that a, like a quarter of my plate is filled with the starchy carbohydrates. And as you can see, instead of filling the whole like three quarters of the plate up with the jalop, I am just filling up a quarter of this. And this ensures that I stay full, yet I get all the flavor I need from the jalop. And then I add my chicken for protein. And yeah, voila, here you go. This is like a typical portion for me the majority of the time, like on a day-to-day -day basis. If I eat a lot, it means I'm like at a party or something, but this is just what my portions look like and this is how I maintain my waist. Oh. And some of you may insult me saying that my portions are too small and I get that a lot, especially since moving to Ghana and people look at what I eat and they're like, you just eat nothing. But at the end of the day, this is a portion that works for me. I don't overeat. So the amount of starchy carbohydrates, the amount of vegetables and the amount of protein on that plate is the perfect balance for me to get my nutrients but also to prevent me from being bloated and when I eat those portions on a day to day it helps me to sustain and maintain my weight. And I just want to share with you what has worked for me. These are my thoughts, these are my opinions. They may or may not work for you but 
this has definitely been one of the best if not the best way that I have been able to maintain my weight is just balancing out the portions of my plate, listening to my body to feel and see when it's full, and then eating accordingly on a regular basis. Obviously, occasionally I do eat like a big plate of jollof, but that is occasionally, and we don't need to do that every day. But on a day to day basis, 100%, I just eat um, basically that portion. We're coming to the end of the video, but before we end, I actually wanted. To, I don't know how some people may receive this, but I just feel like sharing some motivation and some inspiration in your life just to get you by, just because a lot of people are going through things that we may not necessarily feel free to talk about or discuss. And maybe society isn't enabling you to feel like it's an open space to chat about your issues. But I just want to encourage anyone today who is going through a tough time and who just needs that extra bit of encouragement. So I'm going to read out just a phrase with a couple of sentences at the end of my videos. And this is today's little bit of motivation for you. I'm thinking of what to call this. Should, should it be like mot motivation of the day or mot I'll, 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 I'll figure it out and I'll write it here. Motivation with Brie. So today's motivation is from Hebrews 10 verse 35 to 36. So do not throw away your confidence, it will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. Read unto that what you may. This is just a bit of encouragement I want to share with someone today because I feel like someone really needs to hear that and that's a verse that has really helped me as well. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you tuning in. Please subscribe because I have so much content to share with you, especially leading up to a new year and a new decade. If you haven't achieved your best body, if you've been trying for years and years and you've been dieting, let 2020 to 2030 be the decade that you achieve your best and be your best. And I'm here to just encourage you and make sure that you do that. So please subscribe. I have so much amazing content and useful tips to share with you and I hope you like it all. So yeah, thank you guys. Comment, like, subscribe, ask me a question, you know, all that jazz. Share with me what you want to share and thank you for watching. And until next time, have a blessed and happy life. Bye.